Okay, Florida Explorer here. We're on the campus of Washington Lee University. We are going into Lee Chapel slash museum. We won't be filming the museum because they don't allow it, but we're going into the chapel. Uh, this is a burial place. Also, where he came and worshipped on a daily basis as president of the college. And this is right down from the Episcopal Church where he would have attended services on Sundays, but this was a daily, a daily place, a daily place of worship. And this is the pew in which he sat. Of course, being the president, he would have not only gotten preferential treatment, but he would have. Uh, been expected to lead by example and sit front front row. So it's a different time. I mean, people were Christians back then, and they were Christians. It wasn't just lip service. It was part of their lives. It was part of who they were. This is an original Norman Vincent Peale uh, painted of Washington during the uh, French and Indian War time period. And it was a, uh, it was given to this chapel by the Lee family and it was saved from Arlington. Arlington House was overrun where well, there's a UDC stamp. In 61, and Lee never returned to it. And he never lived to see it restored to him either. This is a monument. It's essentially a mausoleum. These remains are not right here. They are in a crypt underneath uh, with all his family on the floor below. Initially, his remains were interred here, which is why this stays here. They were... This was his crypt is burial chamber but someone decided at some point that they needed to be removed downstairs so they moved them downstairs So this was commissioned in 1870 and uh, completed in They'll come after this. They'll try to remove this. It's incredible. I'm gonna go downstairs to the, the actual crypt in the partial portion of the museum. Fitzhugh Lee fought in the war. His daughters. His father was removed from Cumberland Island and reinterred here in 1913. This is the general. And his wife. Robert Edward Lee Jr. He fought as a private in the war. And G.W. Custis Lee was another son. 
So this is the Lee family uh, crypt burial area. We go outside, and there's a tribute to the grave of his horse, his primary horse. He had several horses, many horses over his lifetime. But the pennies here are meant to be upside down because Lincoln is on the other side. And for obvious reasons, you don't want to see Lincoln's face on anything associated. And for many years they had stuffed the animal and kept it here on display. And it was uh, they just like, buried, buried the actual bones and everything else with them. So that's that. And we're gonna go into the museum now. Can't film though. Bye.